Hey, what's up guys? Yesterday we had the Lollipop update rolling out for the Galaxy Note 4. So right now this update is rolling out for the Snapdragon variant only. So as you can see, I have the 910F variant which is the Snapdragon variant. If you want to install the official firmware manually and don't want to wait for the OTA update, follow the installation method from the link 1. So in this video we will be talking about what's new with the Lollipop update. Starting off with the lock screen. We have this new Lollipop style notifications. You can just swipe either of the sides to dismiss it and double tap to launch. And while giving a pin code to unlock your phone, you get this sweet little animation. Moving on, we have the new Lollipop style notification bar. Talking about all the stock apps and the overall UI, we have received a facelift, inspired from the material design, which we have also seen with the Galaxy S5. To name a few, the new dialer, contacts app, SMS app, calculator, clock, music player and so on. Let's quickly move on to settings. We have the regular lollipop styled animation and apart from that everything remains the same. So nothing's new added but under sounds and notifications we have a new option called interruptions. So basically this is something like the do not disturb mode but then again you can set priority interruptions that is you can get notification from a specific number, you can receive a SMS or you can add your important contacts so that even if your phone is in the do not interrupt mode you will get notifications from your important contacts, events, etc. So that's there. Talking about the camera, nothing's new here, everything remains the same. We also get the new card style multitasking UI which I really like. Apart from all this, all the features that we have with the Note 4 like the multi-window, S Pen functions, motion controls, private mode etc remains the same. New features are not added. And not to forget with the lollipop update the device is much more smoother, app launches and exits quick, no lags, no glitches. The battery life is also slightly improved. So yes, that's all for this video guys. This is all that I have noticed so far. If you have noticed anything else, let us know through your comments. Thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great time.